Welcome back. Let's get to your money and your 401ks. Here's a question. Will we see down 19,000 or could the Dow drop down towards maybe 17,000? Well, there are two important signals that Wall Street is talking about that you need to watch. We've got tomorrow's jobs report from the U.S. government and we've got the action in bank stocks, which have been rising. So here's the story. Is it good news? Is good news bad news? Well, let's go back to a great expert. He's the University of Maryland economist Peter Marisi. He joins me now. Peter, the whole storyline here is about whether or not the Fed's going to raise rates, right? And that's going to kill our 401ks. What do you think? Oh, it's not going to kill our 401ks. If we get a good jobs report, it also indicates the economy is strengthening and profits will be up. Now, over the next couple of weeks, there's going to be some rattling, and that could cause some turbulence. But if, with IRAs and KEOs, we should be thinking about where we're going to be next year and 20 years from now. I think it's a good thing to have a good jobs report, even if there's some turbulence. You know, that's a good point. But, you know, this, for the market right now, to a lot of investors, it feels like, you know, you're sitting in a scary movie, and you're waiting for the thing that's going to pop around the corner and frighten the bejesus out of you. I mean, you hear it, Peter, uh, the market's too, too calm right now. There's no volatility. That means something's going to explode in the fall. I mean, I mean, I, I, people really out there, they don't know what to do, whether they should sit tight or pair back the losers right now. Well, there's a lot of uncertainty in the political sphere, and that causes people to kind of sit back. And uh, Janet Yellen has time and time again said conditions are improving and a rate increase is likely, and then it doesn't happen. So I think that they're in kind of in a state of disbelief. They're not getting the kinds of signals they can hook on. And as a consequence, we're getting into this kind of period. But I don't think the market's going to tank. You don't think it's going to take? All right. So, you know, some are arguing that the profit recession is over. Um, you know, there's a lot of debate about that. Peter, how do you get growth back into this country where stocks can really soar? Well, we're getting, Mr. Trump is right. We need a different administration. All of these regulatory burdens really do slow us down. You know, whether it's compliance with uh, affirmative action or, or bank regulations or what have you, it requires people to fill out forms and do things that are not productive that they would not normally do. We are becoming more and more like France, whether we like it or not. Right. We have to start to think about efficacy when it comes to regulation. It isn't that we don't want bank regulations, but we have to do it a lot more efficiently. And we can't have the kind of people that wrote the Obamacare website doing it. Yeah. We, you know, frankly, we need better people in Washington. Yeah, Peter, you make an important point because I've talked to, uh, you know, bank employees and they're saying, you know, the government facetiously, they're being ironic, they say the government really does create jobs because they have so many people in compliance, so many people now who have to deal with Washington, D.C.'s regulations. It's like this vegetative universe has exploded um, the business landscape, not just in Washington, D.C., but across the country. It's a regulatory compliance uh, private sector workforce that has exploded, having to deal with Washington, D.C. I don't know. Those numbers do show up in the jobs report, but they're yeah. not very productive. But, but we're talking about productivity to get us to 3 percent growth, not just flatlining 1 percent growth. Right, Peter? Well, absolutely. If it takes twice as many people to make a loan, because only half the folks are making loans and the other half are making you fill out forms and comply with various rules, then small businesses don't get loans. Right. And that's exactly what's happening. And, and small banks don't get started. Community bank charters don't get approved. And that's what's happening. The wheels of American commerce are being slowed. The Barack Obama administration is chewing gum, and every five minutes it takes out the piece in its mouth and puts it in another cog and laughs as it <laughs> Gums it up. <laughs> Good point. We're going to leave it there. I just love you know when you get witty on us, Peter. Thank you so much for your time. Always brilliant. 